Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air, and it's fun day Sunday. We are going to, yesterday, we put this one piece in. We showed you how we made the patterns, how we made the piece. Today, me and Jolene are going to sheathe in the whole front roof of uh, the Doodle Bug or the 34 uh, Texco tank, and we're going to sheathe it in. You stick with us, and, and you'll get to see a pretty cool visual. Um, Let's rock and roll, right? Let's go for it right now. Joanne's gonna put the camera down. I'm very happy that she's gonna help me today. Um, she's got a lot of other things to do, nothing than help me, but um, for me to get this done, I feel like I, it would be nice to have a hand to tack weld all the pieces on because I'll be running with the grinder, probably no doubt in my mind, trying to make things fit the best they can. I want the metal in certain areas to make it fit tight and right. Um, this piece here, we've had that on since yesterday. So I made one piece for uh, here, I made one piece for here, I made one piece for here, all the way around, a piece for each one. The reason I did that is when I made this one big piece here for this one, it seemed to get flat in the center, and I'll have a fix for that, and we'll explain to it when we get to it. But uh, we have we have all the pieces that are cut. I think you know exactly what I did if you watched the video yesterday. If you did not, just go back to yesterday and take a look. Um, I made, took some paper, I made a pattern, I transferred it to the metal, and then I applied it to the front of the Texaco tanker. Um, this is not a Texaco tanker, this is the Hiltz Autoco Dream Machine. Uh, that's what we're doing, we're building what we want to do, but we're inspired by what someone else has done. Uh, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. So I'm just kindly waiting for Jolene. I don't even have to wait for Jolene, actually. Um, she can get ready. These pieces here, if you can see or not, yeah, I'm sure you can. Um, they're a lot more round. I put a lot more um, shape into them. And the reason being is this shape in the front here, um, we need to have that. Uh, the shape that's going up there, we're going to bend that in it after we apply it on there. Um, this piece right here at the, at the very start of it, we had it on there. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to apply a little more shape to it before we start. Jolene's going to get up in there for me. Oh, You're going to have to step on that stool, sweetheart. And hopefully we can work together and get this done. Be careful. Be careful. That's my queen, Jolene. I don't want to see her get hurt in any way. Yeah, I just want this, I want this, uh, this off there, please. Got a girl. Ow. That hurt your hand? Oh, my thumbnail. Hurt your thumbnails. Oh, she got new thumbnails on. <laughs> she does a good job at them because she sands them. I'm going to roll this piece in the roller, put a little more, put a little more oof into it. I'm going to reapply it. So you can see I put a little bit more shape into it. Put a little more shape into that bad boy. Is it okay to stand on? You can stand on it. Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to half it up on... We're going to put it down here so it fits right. I'm going to half it up on down here. So, Jolene's my lovely assistant today. Mm-hmm. Can we uh, I'm jump up there with you for a second? I'll give you the welder and then we'll we'll go for it. Okay. I'm gonna bring that over just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work and get it in place and then Jolene can run along and tack it exactly where we want it. And that's the name of the game. We want to get it exactly where we want it. If we do not get exactly where we want it, then that's not, that's not what I want to do. I want to get it exactly where we want it. I want to go right on the edge of this um, cross member here. I want to get that. Joins gets the welder. Am I starting up here? You're, you may as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pair of pliers. I'm going to be right beside you, and I'm going to put the pliers, wherever I put the pliers, I, that's where I want you to weld it. If, if you, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So you're well right in front of, you already turned that open, didn't you? Yeah. She's my lady. All ready. Right. 
let's let's weld one right there. Nope. Let's weld one back for the right, right at the very end, right there. Okay. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough. Let's do one right in between. Can you, can you get that like that? Can you pull the trigger like that? Yes. I want you to when you're doing this, I want you to zonk it on just like give it a give it a little more a little more time. Okay. Like one right in front of that. Rest your arm on something so you're steady. Going. Yep. Good. Going. Yep. And I'm just clamping it where I want her to tack it. Going. So we can get a nice, nice distance going on. Hit more on your metal. On your on your square stock. Just make sure it stays. Okay, going. Yeah. Beautiful. She's beautiful, boy. She's beautiful. She got a bunch of compliments this morning, didn't you, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> going. Yep. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason what we have to, uh, how we have to apply it. Jolene was asking me how we're going to apply it. We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to start from the top. We're going to start from this. I'm just starting on the straight line, and hopefully we can put it on because it fits. Uh, basically, that's what I'm hoping. You're going to walk your way over if you can, sweetheart. You're doing a fantastic job. I probably should have, should have, would have, could have, didn't. And the reason I'm, I'm, I'm squishing it down every time because we want it tight and right. We got a little bit up going on here. We'll... Okay, go in. Yep. Beautiful. As long as it holds, that's all I'm looking for. Go in. We'll go one right in front of that. Go in. Yep. Alrighty, I'm going inside. We're going to go back up to the top again. You see that good on your side? Yep. Yeah. Get your welder up good up and straight. That way there you can yep. hit it good. Yeah. Okay. Sunday fun day with my beautiful, with my sparkles. Good. Yep. Now, I want you to hit that there because I was one hold down to hit there, give me the same, give you the same distance, but it just wasn't going down there tight. Right there would be fine. Good. Yep. Beautiful. Just thinking with the two of us, it would go faster. Yeah, see what's going on there in the center. We got some metal. Just not sure what's going to happen to that. See, we're going to find it, aren't we? Can you nail it, or you want to come down and nail it? I nailed it and didn't stick. Stick it on where I already stuck it and fell off. Okay. Yep. I bet you yours is going to stick. Okay. It's kind of, we got pressure on it. We put a shape in it there. This bar is straightening it back out again. So what I did is I started in the center. See how we get a little lump going up in there. Started in the center. If I started over here, we probably had a big bump over in there. But well, what I'm hoping I can do is I can run that out both ways. But with the shape that I put in it, I'm hoping that it's keeping tension on that. That's what we want. We want something really rugged. 
to stick that on real good there. Like give it a second or two before you. Great, that stopped. That stopped that time. Do you want to stick one right beside that one? Mm -hmm. Perfect. 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 In the corner. Going good. Awesome. Stick it on right there, actually. Better where you put one there mm -hmm. and one there. Yeah, put one between, in between that. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, there's Mr. Number One panel. We've got one panel on there. We might have to, what I was thinking is with the big panels. We might have to come in here and pry something up in here. Like we can put, we got this piece going along here to hold the front, to make that shape. If anything falls down in the center, which is kind of eh, a little bit, we raised up there a little bit. We kind of pulled it down there a little bit. If we want that to come up some, we could put something in the center and push that up. Put another rib across from here to there. Put a little bend on it, weld it on one side, then push the other side up. We could get a little more shape in that. And we might have to in the end, but, uh, we're going with what we got going on right now. And then I'm going to try to apply this one different. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to apply this one different. All right. Corner. I'm going to grab the zip cut for a second. Just move that over. Some of the welds, it was like we're trying to get it welded on the same piece of one inch stop there and some of the wells are over just a little way Alright, so we're going to try this one from down here. Start this one down here. See if it works out a little better. See how it does work out. Uh, you want to try put that one on. Let's put this one on right here, that right where it's welded. Yeah, right there, it be fine. Right there? Yep. Okay, going. Yep. Good. That's good. I'm going to take a pair of these. I'm going to try something different this time. We're going to try to keep our shape up front. I'm gonna go up top and see if it fits. I can't, I don't wanna zonk it down yet in the front until I know it fits up here. All right. Can you take, can you take them pliers off, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay, oh, just wrap where we're at. Put the pliers back on, if you will. Now, this is the game we're playing. Is to get it applied the best it can be. We're a bit over, quite a ways over here, so I'm gonna to have to cut that probably. All right, let's let's zonk her on. I'm right there. I want actually. I get a pair of long pair of pliers. Let's do that one there together. 
right, right in there. So you can stick right, put your wire right in this, this right. There's a gap in between the metal. I don't want her to start on this metal or that metal. I want her to stay, put the wire right on the square stock itself and, and keep it right on the square stock and let the, let the molded metal go to both pieces. Okay, ready? Okay. Just a minute now. Figured it off on you. Does that to me all the time. And I'm, what's going on? It probably has a... Probably needs a new test of what it needs. It's been doing it for a little while now, so I'm thinking that. It's probably ran its course. I'm just hoping that there's more two tips. What happens is they get hot and then they get sticky. That one's got hot many times. Just cut that off. Just give it a little shot and trigger. And I'll fix you right up. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Right, right there. Put your wire on the Try to keep it up straight like this. Yep. Yeah. Put your wire right on the square stock itself and, and leave it in the center of the square stock and then it can melt both of them together. Let's do just one hit of that one. Go in. Next one, just go ahead of it or behind it, whatever way you want to do it. Go in. Yep. That sounds like a real good one. Let's do the next one. Yep. Go in. Yep. Beautiful, that sounds real good. Next one. Go in. You're zonking her on now, you're not holding nothing back, are you? Nope, I'm going to get up. Yep. Stand tight so you hit it on, stay on your square stock mm -hmm. and, and knock it down with it, please. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Just a minute now. Go for it. No, nope, you go on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go yeah. behind it. Is that fine? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. That's long. That's long. That's long. Or wherever you can make a hold down. Okay. There's quite a gap. Like, yeah, I well, do it hit it on the middle of the square so I can run over one piece and go back to the other piece. Okay. Good. Now. Do that end, please. Yep. Good. Now. Hoping that we can bring it in. We'll have to cut this one off a little bit. That's not. Um, you want to come down here? Hit it along the front. I'm thinking that that might be able to get in there. And in the center. Side that. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll hit one more here on this side, and then then I'm on that side. Now we're going to see if 
See, I want this halfway on this. I don't want that. To, like, I want it like that so we can get a get get it going together. If I have too much on this one, and then that means I'm I got quite, quite a roll on this one too because it's. How about uh, just hold that just like this? I'm gonna like try to fit it in place and then I'll oh, see if I can cut it with the zip cut. And what I mean, what I'll do is I'll lay it down there, get it in place. That way, there I can maybe zip cut it to make it fit the best it can. center of this is going to have to be zip cut it because I'm over too far but I'm going to take the zip cut it's looking good like it's fitting really good there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the zip cut down there and get us a gap in between it so we have penetration to the square stock because it could lay up off there quite a ways now if you'll pass me the zip cuts here can you add, nope mm -hmm. got, it, got it this is where it's going to take the time I made each piece, you know, I, we've fabricated each piece for um, the place it goes, but in actual fact, when you get putting them together, I'm not sure if it's going to overlap a little bit or not. And this one is overlapping a little bit, so we have to take some away. It's kind of a jungle gym we're working on, but it is what it is. together. back in action. We'll go for it. If you want to climb up in there, and then I can see. Ah. Climb up? I would say, because we want to start up here. It wasn't, it wasn't tight up in here. I think one is, but I'd like to get in there if I could. Hmm. I'm going to get the push rod and do it that way, I guess. Do I have a step ladder here? Mm. I think they're out in the other barn. What? They're in the other barn. They're in the other barn. That doesn't make any good, does it? step on that yet to be honest with you. Not wanting to step on that. No, no, I want to go back for it. See how that should be down there further? Coming in. Coming in!
See how that's not, see how it's gone down? Mm -hmm. For you, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. Put the wire right in the center. Oh. Yeah, like right in the center. And let it boil for a second. Go ahead. Mine stuck it. I was just wondering a second. Let's see. No stuck in there. Nope, it looks pretty good. Um, what I want you to do is do the exact same thing. Put your wire in the center, right, right there. Mm -hmm. Let it boil for a second, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boil for a second. So what's going on is I run a zip cut down through there. It's not much space now that comes down, is it? If you know what I'm saying, it's not much, not much space going on. Get behind there. Going. So she's running the wire, staying right on the square saw, and she's letting the metal mount out around to both pieces. Going. Yeah. Now we're gonna start losing it here in a minute. Let's go. A second. Let's go one ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Stay, stay up straight as possible. Right there. Yeah. Give her. Going. Good. Right in front of my, right in front of my thing, yep. Right going. Yep. Good. Just down there, yep, right in front of that. Oops, going. Yep. Now I'm gonna get down. I gotta reach that rest of it. Yeah, right in front of it, right in the middle of that. Right behind it. Yeah. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go. Yep. Yeah. Going. Yeah. I think my arse was eating my underwear, but. <laughs> going. Yep. Yeah. I'll just hold up a second. We'll leave it for a minute. Hang up there. Now this is going to have to be cut. Uh, we got. Um, let's let this off. It's going to have to be cut. Together there a little bit. See that? You might as well. Can you come down? Do you want any more up here? Um, we're going to have to get back up there, but I'm going to have to cut it first. Now, right down the square stop. Okay. Pull them. Good. Good. 
I'm ready. Let's do this. Come here, nail this here, front. In the middle, we want to do the middle on that one there. And the reason being is we got a little, little excess metal here, a little less excess metal on the other side. We'll run a little bit of this side, run a little bit of this side so we don't get a... Oh. Yeah, go ahead. So we don't get a poopy spot. Done. Yep. Always start in the middle if you if you're running a panel, start in the middle. That way there if you get any act too much metal. Where we roll that, we'd have a little bit too much metal. Either side of that doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Now we've got this side to deal with. I've got a feeling that I've got to cut this side. Let's, let's just keep going with this here. You can tack that down there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut some metal off this. Turn that water down if you want to. Now I'm just going to get in here, take my finger, and do a... And knock it over some. And the reason being is because there's too much metal there. It's okay, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, when we get the other piece on, we can have, we don't want to overlap anything. We do not want to overlap anything. It's pretty good. Better. 
What I mean by looking better is a lot less material to go over the next one. That's what I'm thinking. We do have some flat area on that big piece. You can see it, or I can see it. There's some flat area on that. And what's gonna happen, like I said before, we'll get in there maybe with a piece of square stock, we'll put a bend on it, we'll, we'll apply one side, and then we'll push it up in there. Just like doing the, um, if you were doing a roof skin or something and you uh, rolled your metal and it got come down on you a little bit, take a piece of square stock, put a little shape in it, get up in there, Apply it to one side, your square stock would have shape in it like this. Apply it on one side where your roof is flat, then you pry your uh, square stock up where it has shape in it. It would push this up and give us some shape. And that's basically probably what we're going to do there. Did not want to do it before I applied the piece because I did not know what shape it should be or how much it should come up. But there is a little bit there that I probably would enjoy to come up. So we will probably put something in there and that's just a matter of applying it. This over here looks really good. These ones are smaller. This is the bigger, flatter area. Uh, we put lots of shape in it. You can see that, we put lots of shape in it, but um, to bang that and try to roll that on the English wheel and try to find that shape, and when you, not going there, not going there. Uh, I'd rather just go in there and put a nice brace going across, put a little shape and square stock, weld it in and be done with it. All right, this one, let's apply the other piece. Um, I think that's it. It's all good up through there. Actually, I'll take that off. Wipe that off. You can just, you're going up the up top. Okay. So you're all right. Yeah, it's going to have to be there. We're just gonna probably keep working, taking metal off each piece uh, to get it where we want it. And that's the end of the problem. Can you, I'm gonna come up there. No worries, sweetheart, coming out. That looks good. Right there, sweetheart. See that opening? Yeah. Yeah, put your gloves on. Okay. Yeah, right, see that opening? Yeah. Stick your square stuff, put your, yeah. your wire right in the middle and stay there until it hits both sides of the metal. Ready? Yeah. What I mean by that, just hold the wire right in the center and then and you'll watch it, the metal go out and hit to the thing. Go. danger zone is, you know what I mean? Are you able to reach down here or do you have to get down here? Okay. Hold that wire right in the center of that stuff and spoil it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Might come off. Let's do this one. Same thing. Awesome. I'd hire you. Um. You're probably thinking, you're lucky I helped you. Just mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to get that down. I'm hooked up here. Can you nail in between each one of those? Just to keep your wire right in the center. And Awesome. Bomb. 
For the hammer, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Beautiful. Popped up here. So nice. All right. You can keep running that right, right, right there, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Just hold it up a second. Pull your welder back. Or just pull it back. Don't do anything. Just pull it back and move it around for a second. There it goes. Yeah, it just poked out. Yep. Go ahead. Going. You're tight there now, so just keep cruising back. Keep going. Yep. Going. Going. Yep. Ah, uh, hold up. Hold up. It's not tight. This one here is not tight. See it? Mm-hmm. You can take these clamps on if you want. Just put the clamps on this one right here. Yeah. Yeah, and then you just do it just before the clamp. Going. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. We got a big bulge going on here, but that's okay. All right, you can come down. We'll try. We're going to do the center of this one. Is it cut through it? Be careful. And also, this is not finished up the front here. There's a bunch of work that has to be done on the front of this thing to make it look right. Um, these you just got the square stock right here. That's not the finished product. There's going to. It's got to be about probably three inches wide, and then it's round in the corners um, to make that look nice. Um, that's not finished whatsoever. We're just trying to get the roof applied on the front of the hauler. So I've got what I've got going on here is I got the metal. It's tied up against. I have two pieces tied together. If you, have, if you want to show it or what? So I've got two pieces of metal tight together here. We don't want that because we got a little bit of extra metal going on there. We got some extra metal going on there. We got some shape going on. So what I gotta do is take some metal away from it and I'm just gonna run the zip cut right down straight through it. Excess metal there that we're going to take off, take out some of it, tight back together again. Let's do this. Let's put that one in. Uh, let's grab the right here. My mic is. I need a pair of vice grips. What happens is when I get sweaty, why am I attached up here? Yeah, that's fine. It's kind of in my mouth, but. So it is getting tricky a little bit. These ones are seized up. <laughs> Those ones are seized up. They're not a very good pair. We got some excess metal going on here. That just means we gotta take some away. Don't wanna apply that on there too hard, I wanna bend it. Now, we still got just like a, probably a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna run the zip cut down through it again, take a little bit more from it. The long pair right here. <coughs> See how far we can get up in there. Whoop, whoop. Right. Um. Give you that 
that stand on. All right. You're going to stand on that one over there, Bebe. Okay. I'm going to stand on this one over here. It's like a beach ball, isn't it? <laughs> You're going above my hammer, if you will. If you can, can you see it? Yeah, you can stand on that. You should be able to. Okay. No, no. I want you to just go above my hammer, okay? Yep. Yeah. Go. Yep. Let's do it again. Yep. Yeah. Just above my hammer. Going. Yeah. You're nailing the spot wells, girl. You're doing a good job. Just above that. Going. Yep. Beautiful. Just gonna clamp this off. Just above the clamps. Going. Yeah. Probably get these a little tight. Maybe a little. Just a little bit. Just above the clamps. Going. Yep. It's nice to have that communication when you're welding, when you're going to take off and start welding because you really can blind somebody. Going. Yeah. She's just letting me know that she's going, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can. Nail them together right there. Going. Both on that square saw. Yep. Do it on the square saw? Yep. So. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to knock a little bit of that off. Sorry, just for a second. Uh, I'm get a... Watch yourself for a second. The reason I don't want that access metal there is because we're going to be welding there another piece of metal uh, to make the front of the window and I don't want to build that metal down. Going. Go ahead. I don't want to build that metal down and be in the way of the new metal that's going on. I really want it up just where it's supposed to be. Going. Yeah. Haven't got flashed yet because Jolene's doing a fantastic job. Going. Alrighty. It is a little flat in this area right here, and I said what I'm going to do to fix it, and, and that's what we'll have to do. That's what we'll have to do. Can you tell? Not really. Not really? Um, now, don't look bad. Don't look bad. If you want to... That's what I'm going to do. Just leave it like that for now, I guess. I'm going to get another piece and throw it up there and see what kind of... Nope. Nope. We're okay. I'm okay with it all, to be honest with you. Let's tack it right there. Going. Yep. Yeah. Let's tack it right there. Going. Yep. Yeah. That right there. Going. Yeah, let's work our way back. Tag right in front there. Going. Yep. Going. Yep. Going. Yep. That out, we will. Going. 
Yeah. Man, you're good. Setting them on fast. I got a little metal here. It's kind of the square stock is going flat and the metal's shooting up a little bit. As soon as I tap this metal down over that square stock, it's really going to tighten that up because it's going to stretch it down over. We got another piece here. This is the next piece. Got a little roll in this piece. I don't know where the camera's at. Right here. Got a roll in this piece. You can see that. Good. Good. Let's do this. Put it right in the middle. Trying to see if we've got enough metal for this one to run up beside it, that's all. Oh, ben over there it is. Not bad. No. It's better than not bad. It's awesome. Alrighty. Let's get, uh, get a pair of square and put these right here. Get up in there. Now, get a little bit on that one. All right, Joey, you may as well get your welding. Come on up. Let's see if we can get this. We'll cut the last one, I guess. You come up this side. Okay. I'm gonna get a hammer. Here I am waiting for you and have got my own stuff. I want this one. All right. Ooh, that's good. Work it. Let's work it this way. That's not going to do it. Going to have to. Hmm. It just took off. Nope. I don't want to do that. Will you tack that right, right there? Mm -hmm. Right there, tack them two together. No, right here. Okay. Yep, it's tagging together. Going. Yep. Beautiful. We have to run the zip cut through that. We're gonna have to run the zip cut through that. Right back. Stick with me. I wonder if I should bring it over just a bit more. Run the zip through, cut through it all. What do you think of that? Push that down. Oh, damn it. Push that down towards me. Run it all the way down as possible. 
overlapped right here. What's that? It's overlapped. Yeah, it's one when the zip cut through. Just gonna have to run the zip cut through it all, no doubt in my mind. Bruised it there a little bit, I did. Didn't want to, but I did. Coming up. Watch yourself for the sparks. I'll throw them that way. Is that a piece of metal still underneath there? Can you see a piece of metal underneath there still? Uh, not really. Piece of metal underneath there, is there? I can't see anything. I'm just gonna get a screwdriver and poke it real quick. Just want to make sure that the metal I cut from underneath of the pan or the panel, I just want to make sure it's gone. It'll hold us up. Well, so that's all we'll do. Is just hold us up. Together, please. Yep. I'm gonna tap. That's all right. Just weld it. Go in. Beautiful. You are. What you say? Go in. Yep. Go in. Yep. Now, yeah, got a little metal. See how the metal's getting mm -hmm. more there? If you want to hold that. There you go. Mm. I'm just going to. For it. Um. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just going to run this down a little further. It's going to have to take a little metal out of it at the whole distance. Just going to take a little metal out of it. Watch yourself. Doing an excellent job attacking that she is. Going. Yeah. Nice and quick, nice and fast. She's got no shell as you can tell. Going. Yeah. Okay. We're a little bit over there. Yeah, I gotta run down in there. There's gonna be a tough spot there. Gonna run butt them off. Yeah, we'll run we'll run that out. Good. Awesome. Let's do that. 
Um, I'm going to have to get you to come. Let's just tack this, let's tack this side down. No, we can't, not going to do that yet because we want to put both pieces together. What I got going on here, sweetheart, is... Oh, dog bell went off. Run okay. down there a little bit. I got to take some metal out of this one. Ah. Watch your, watch your eyes. Watch your eyeballs. Not quite getting to it. But I want, but I, that's better. Well, that one, Jolene, right in front of that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Now we're going to take and move stuff over, I think. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Oh, you can, you can see if you can get. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to see if I can. Be nice if I get them clamps down there that far. I'm just going to tap this down. I'm going to get the push bar. I'm going to push up at the same time as I'm pushing down. I know that's hard to believe, but yep, yeah, all them together. Yeah. Awesome. And I'll tell you. The zip cut going down here takes some metal out of it. Let's go behind the push bar. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Is it hitting the too tight or don't go for it? Okay. Yep. Now you can see where I'm hitting there, it's starting to pucker up a little bit. Gotta run the zip cut down through it. Take some out of it. Can you weld the rest of that from up there? Yep. Watch yourself. Stay put. Please and thank you. Stay put. Yeah, I just don't want the sparks. Oh, okay. You don't want any sparks? No. Oh. Looks good. We got a gap in between every. We got a gap in between it all, which is good. Going. Yep. Yep. Going. Yep. Going. Nope. Got to cut it. What I have? What the guy that's got some metal touching there is kind of overlapping, so I'm just going to run the zip cut through. Take some metal out of it. Second, it's up there a little bit. Seems like maybe the metal isn't it. Just before the. Yep. Going. Yep. Alrighty. 
Um, I think I'd like to see you come down and do that. We'll just change the welder on this side, get the last piece, and then we'll go from there. Okay? Yep. Give me that thing. All right, we got one more piece to put on. One more piece to put on. Stick with us. We got one more piece to put up, go on, and then we'll take a look at it. Joey's doing a fantastic job. I don't think there was anything too major difficult about this. I guess just had to keep an eye on uh, where it puckered and where it didn't pucker. And what I mean by pucker is too much metal. Um, where we have put some round shape in it, you know, we're going, we're, we're going around, so we want to be careful of getting too much metal into it. And as you can see, what I'm doing is, so I'm taking that zip cut and I'm relieving some of the metal. I'm shrinking it by cutting it away. And I call it shrinking it because I'm taking metal away from it. But. Joey's being quick on the ball. The spot welds are going good. I enjoy that. Nothing worse than getting something going and um, someone not sure whether they're spot welding it right or not. It's kind of... Um, anyways, I'll push that down. So we've got one more piece and that looks good there. It's halfway in between. You can see what was going on there. We're trying to half it on the on the... The one inch square stock is what we're trying to do, is what we are doing actually. We're having it. I'm gonna turn that on. I'll spot, spot that on myself, sweetheart, and then we'll get you get up there and I'm just gonna spot this on with closing my eyes. from that corner a little bit. Beautiful. Alrighty, last piece. Down there we'll... I'm gonna shear that off, we got too much. Got a little overhang there, want to cut that off. Make it look a little better for a second. Watch your eyes. I bruised it. A little bruise right there. I don't want that bruise. Take it out after I weld it, I guess. All right, we got that on there. Take this off. Yeah! You got it, Pontiac. Let's, let's go for the next one. It's right here. Got a little bit of curve in this one. Threw a little curve in every one of them. 
I did, I did. <laughs> you want to you want to move that there, please. You might have to use it here in a second when I put this up in there. You clamp it down on. All right, this is what we're going to do. We'll, we'll just make this one work on this side. What I mean by make it work is we'll just take and don't really want to do that. Ooh. Yeah. You want to clamp that on there? Right at the top? Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Okay. Both hands. It's too tight. That's just undo her a little bit. Try to get it off the other one a little bit. Okay. Eh. Will it stay? Yep. What's going to go on is, we'll put this one on, we'll cut this off after. Okay. You know, we'll get this one on, then we can cut that off after. They don't need to see us cut that off. I'm coming up there with you, and we're going to put this bad boy on. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, but beautiful. I'm going the other way. Right in the center of those two bad boys. Going. Yep. Ready? Yeah, just keep right in the center of the yep. square stock. Going. Yep. Going. Yep. Yeah. Now you can just nail it up here. Going. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Right in front of my in front of it. Going. Yep. Everything's tight and right, is it? Mm -hmm. Ah, did you get this side? You didn't burn this side? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Let's get in between each one of those. Go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Going. Yep. Going. Looks nice up here, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going. Last two you can get on your own. Right. It'll pop and go on because it's not sure if it's connected to the square stock. Where did I put my little push rod at? Right here. Right in front of it. Right, yep. Yep. yep, do it right in front of the pliers. Go yep. Go for it. Go in. Yep. Go 
Do you want me to have them back? <laughs> going. Yep. Now, we got something going on here. Let that go for a second. Nope, yep, got a little bit of something going on. A little something going on. Take this one. All right, come on down. Let's, let's go over here. You must go in between that right there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Second, actually. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just making sure it's tight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just for that one. Yeah. Just before the flat ones. Go ahead. Okay. All right, we're cooking with gas. Now, we have a little bit of an issue here. See where it's hitting, hitting there? Mm -hmm. so you know what I have to do, don't you? Yes. You know what I have to do. Sit it there in the center. Go okay. Cool. Just can't stop looking at it, that's all. Go for it there. Go okay. Yep. Now we have too much metal. Uh, we have too much metal in at the bottom there. So I'm just going to take the zip cut, take some away, which I call shrinking. If you want to take a look, it's too tight there. We're kind of puckered up there a little bit, overlapped a little bit. So let's take this off. Wash yourself here. Now we, have, now we have the perfect gap for penetration. Let's turn that back on. I can hit it for now. Just want to hit it with the hand for a sec, make sure it's flat. Find it. Yeah, I have to cut some of that off, the whole length. Basically what I'm doing, I'm just putting the welder on there. I'm probably quarter of an inch away. I'm putting the wire, it does not weld until you pull the trigger. I got the wire exactly where I want to weld. Where I get the wire where I want to weld, I want to hold it steady and keep it there. All I do is close my eyes and pull the trigger. Do not move, do not anything. You see the wire is still in the same spot. So when you're doing spot welds or something like that, and you put your wire where you want to weld, close your eyes, Pull the trigger. Did not weld it. There. All right, everybody, there you go. Let's put that. We've got some to cut off this side to get that piece going up this side. But basically, basically you can see uh, the shape of the, the roof.
If we do not have enough shape in here, it's a little bit flat going on there. There's a little bit. Not bad. But you can put another cross member in there. Like I said, put a little bend on it. Add one side. Then push it up. The smaller ones seem to do a better job. The smaller ones seem to do a better job. This kind of gets a little bit flat to me. But other than that, it went really, 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 really good. Um, I've got a couple people I want to thank. I want to thank Dwayne. Dwayne's a new friend of mine. He's from Ontario. He's moving here, building a brand, himself a brand new cottage. And uh, he's a, I know he's high up in the company, obviously. Um, he sells uh, soap and dispensers and stuff like that to companies all over the world. Um, and uh, he has supplied me with some soap, hand, hand soap down there as a dispenser. Now I've got a, a towel rack he's got for me. Just wave my hand in front like that. And the, and the towel comes out. I've been to many airports. I haven't seen one as fancy as this one. I want to thank Dwayne very much. Appreciate that. Also, um, talking about Dwayne, he asked us, he's, you know, he's from Ontario. He's asked us if we know anybody that has a dory. And a dory is a little rowboat that you would have on your boat in case you want to put it off and, and take it ashore or something like that. So if anybody has an old dory that they would want to sell, he'd be interested in acquiring it. So if you want to write in, if you have a dory and you want to sell it, please write in and let us know and we'll pass it on to Dwayne. Mm -hmm. Also, we want to thank Syracuse Nationals for having us and getting us to come to their car show. It's from what I understand or what I think, it's probably one of the biggest car shows in the world. Uh, July 14th and 15th, we are going to be at Syracuse uh, Nationals, and uh, we want everybody to come out and come out and see us, and uh, we'll chat and talk about cars and all that sort of stuff. Because I feel there's more people out in the world that build cars like I do than there is that has half a million dollars to throw into something and that you have every tool in the world to build with. Um, we are just a common man, and uh, I think I relate with probably 80% of the people that go to these car shows. And uh, if you come, we'd really appreciate it. Me and my queen, Jolene, will be there. So Syracuse Nationals, July 14th and 15th. Thank you, Dwayne, for the, um, the soap and the dispenser. It's awesome. It's a little high class for me, but I'll use it. And uh, if you have a dory for sale, let us know. If you like what's going on, throw a comment in. Um, if, you, if you know somebody that's interested in watching daily content to see the real, and what I mean by the real is we do not fabricate anything. We make a mistake, we make a mistake. If we don't do anything, if we do it right, we do it right. We show you how long it actually can take. We, you know, and uh, if you know anybody into this car business that would like to enjoy to watch once in a while, pass it on. Let them subscribe and watch. Like, share, comment, come back. We'll be here tomorrow. Have a good one.